Hello everybody, it's JB, and welcome back to Walls of CCLP3. I am sorry for the delay on this episode. I tried recording this um, over the weekend, but I was really tired and out of it, and I figured let's just start with a fresh slate when the week starts. I had some things also going on that I wanted to get past before doing this, so I'm happy um, that that's over now. I'll be updating you more on that here, I think, in the next couple weeks, so hang tight. But for now, I'm going to get started with this level, Take a Bite of My Heart, which uh, I've got a few things to say about this level, but the first one is that this title makes me want to sing it to the tune of, um, what's that Elton John song? Don't Go Break in My Heart. You know, don't go break in my heart. Take a bite of my heart. I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining that being a viable thing. But anyway, um, I've actually almost beaten this level when I tried the failed recording. I made a really stupid mistake at the end, and I'll tell you what that is when I get there. But basically, this is a teeth level. Um, I thought that you had to like use the block on that and get the teeth up there, but that doesn't make sense because the teeth wouldn't stay up there. So, yeah. Anyway, um, this first part is pretty simple. This level, by the way, uses the walls of item unlocker, which uh, is a really weird wall pa pattern, I have to admit. Um... I'm just going to do this. I, I don't know if there's really a right way and a wrong way to do that. Because um, I haven't really done the end yet. But yeah, Tom P's le uh, wall templates are kind of an interesting animal. I, I think just because he's he's good at doing two very specific things. And that is like using wall templates as like... Hang on a sec, let's do this. He uses wall templates for like very specific things. Um, and sometimes for, like, aesthetic things, like if he's trying to portray what a real-life analog would look like in CC, he's pretty good at that, I've noticed. Okay, there we go. I was unsure of whether I'd get the timing down there right or not. I think this room is the hardest room in the level, so that's why I wanted to do these two first, as they involved very close quarters kind of interactions with teeth. That ship you have to get last. Um, see, I, I've seen a lot of this level already, unfortunately. I've had it kind of spoiled by trying the failed recording. But that's fine. I I didn't really have much of a reaction to the rest of the level just because I was so focused and concentrated on getting everything done. Um, so yeah, this is pretty, pretty straightforward overall. You just have to lead the teeth to various spots. Okay, and then we have to get this to get off over here. There isn't really much in this room. And then this one, you just lead the teeth to that trap over there, which is pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, um, Tom P's wall templates kind of fit in that same realm as like Andrew Menzies' wall templates do for me, where usually there's a very specific thing that was done with them in their original format. So it can be a little tricky to uh, come up with something completely new out of them that actually works and uses the space well. So, that's just my personal opinion, though. Uh, let's just do this, make it a little mm -hmm. easier. The tricky thing about this is going to be getting this the blocks out afterwards, because mm. you're going to have to do that here. There's a dog barking outside. Probably at somebody passing by. Okay, so we got that done. Okay, let's go around here. There we go. I'm glad that there's not like some weird loop that you have to do in that one area. Like here. Like, I'm glad you don't have to go back through the room to do that. Like, that would be really bad if you had to do that. Okay, so if I just lead you up here and then do a loop around, that should be fine. There we go. Okay. So here's where I made the, the really fatal mistake last time. Down here, for some reason, so I saw the suction boots, and my brain thought I had them already. So I boosted right into the bomb because I pressed the right arrow key twice. Big mistake. Really big mistake. Um... So if I'm not mistaken, I just need to get, like, a whole bunch of teeth in here. Is that what's going on? 
I need to figure this part out. And I see that there's a there's a hint here. I don't know if like you can afford to like waste a teeth. I'm gonna look around here and just see what we're dealing with. I'm glad this little corridor exists. That is such a lifesaver. Okay, how do I get you out? Oh, with the red key. I see. Yeah, this ending part is interesting. It definitely has a very victory lap kind of feel to it, which I like. I think that kind of puzzle... I haven't really talked about this very much, but victory lap puzzles can be really cool. Because especially if they're not like really taxing on your brain to uh, pull off. I think they can be really interesting. So I think the other two teeth are probably down here in the initial area. Or maybe just this one. No, I guess it's both of them, right? Now, can I get them all out at once? I'm, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk the biscuit. I like how the structure of these areas is leveraged to make the, the guiding part of this manageable. Like, I think that's really cool. So, I can go ahead and do this. This is fine. I'll go ahead and... There we go. Walls from item unlocker. Perfect. There's also something kind of cathartic about leading all the teeth that you had to dodge in close quarters to their death. I don't know what it is. It's just really satisfying. Okay. Come on, Teethy. Come to Papa. There we go. Okay, and that should be a wrap. That is Take a Bite of My Heart. So this was the last level designed for the set, and I can see why with this kind of wall pattern, because um, this would be really tricky to use, but honestly... I feel like this is one of the best levels of the set so far, at least in my opinion. I, I think it's it's got a really interesting identity to it. The challenges are really fun. I don't find it terribly unfair. Um, I think it manages to be tricky in all the right ways. So overall, I really liked this one. Okay, my old friend, mm -hmm. and I made the uh, the classic blunder when it came to step assumption there. So yeah, this level, um, this is interesting. This is a blob level that uh, has some very fascinating uh, challenges in it here with the uh, the leading around and stuff. Let me see what this says about Maybe the first button in the boss path connects to the leftmost trap. Okay. What does the rest of it say? I didn't. Walls from my friend and dedicated to Michael Warner. Man, I miss Michael. I miss Michael. Yeah, now I'm sad. Alright, let's get the blob out. I'm glad this is untimed, by the way. This is very much appreciated. Okay, so I'm assuming this is this one. I like the fact that these teleports are here to make some of the uh, block pushing a little less punishing. That's kind of nice. Okay, let's get you over here. So we only have this one chip left, which mm. is good news. I'll just go ahead and cheat there and flick that. No, 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 come back. Ah. Uh. No! No! That is not what I meant. No! Come back, Blob! Come on! No, 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 no! No! <laughs> oh my gosh! Blob! You gotta get a grip here, buddy. Come on. Did You saw like how far it went, and now it went all the way back home to the very start. Mm. Except mm. I shouldn't call that home, because mm. it's not. Mm. Okay, I'm, you know what? I don't care about flicking. I'm just going to do it. Alright, let's be a little more methodical and less, uh, 
risky about this. Okay, come this way. I'm just like hesitant to push it if I don't know which way it's going, but then by the time I realize it's too late. See, like right there. Like that's a good example right there. Okay, there, finally. Okay. Oh no, I made the, the same mistake again. There. Finally. Mm, mm. Okay, let me get this out of the way first, and then we can... Mm, mm. Oh, I forgot that was there. Good thing it didn't come back and bite me in the butt. Mm, mm. Oh! Oh, jeez. That's not what I was expecting to see happen there. Mm. Okay, let's work on this a little bit. Yeah, I am really glad this is untimed. Um, so yeah, this concept, I can't say I'm like the biggest fan of it. Um, I will say one thing that was really interesting about this layout, though, was that I was, for my new set, I was planning on making a level that was within the walls of this and use a concept with tanks and trap buttons. And I eventually built it into my own wall pattern and called the level Danger Arranger. Um, so I'm kind of glad I didn't go with this wall layout for that, just because I think that would have been way too restrictive. But all's well that ends well, right? Okay, come on, get out of there. Go up, there you go. Thank you. Okay. Finally. Alright, my old friend is done. That was a nice break, uh, especially after a level I take a bite of my heart that's pretty long with a lot of challenges. So I like how simple that was. Not a level I would submit for a CCLP per se, but it works in the set really well. Alright, I'm going to try to get to the end of the 60s today. So the next level is Bionic Run, and... I can already see this is within the layout of caves. Um, I don't know, I can see the timer is pretty uh, strict here. I don't know if there's like a consequence. Yeah, there is. Okay. So basically, I need to be very careful about making sure this guy doesn't hit that. So I probably need to actually not get any chips, right? Yeah. Mm. So let's do that first. In fact, if I can do this, hang on. Can I get the, the paramecium to the loop here? I can. Perfect. Loop the paramecium. Okay. So now, get all this stuff. So at this point, it should just be a matter of getting all the keys. problem here, though, is I'm going to have to... Oh, right! I forgot that was going to be a thing that happens. Right. Okay. So I think I see the, the challenge here. Basically, you have to make it all the way back before... Like, the paramecium is going to stop in all the little nooks. Which is a really cool idea. Actually, wait a minute. Is this possible? This way? I, I didn't do the looping thing, so I don't know how feasible this is. Yeah, I, I need to do it the way I was doing it before. I, w I wasted time at the beginning there, so that was my bad. Yeah, I really like this idea. It kind of is an interesting extension of, like, Beware of Bug, but in a smaller space, which is kind of neat. And it's an interesting usage of this template. Like, it's not what I would have expected. I would have expected something more along the lines of what Jeffrey did, which is more of, like, a variety level with some monster manipulation. Oh, whoa, 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 I forgot to close it. I'm a dumb. I completely forgot to close that. Okay. 
you win level. Okay, let's do this again. We'll, we'll get it. I promise we'll get this. We just need to get our brains in the game here. Okay. So I need to hit the button twice, right? For some reason, I keep forgetting that it's going to come in here. I don't know why I keep forgetting that, but for some reason, I'm just not registering that. It's really weird. I think because I'm so focused on the door and not really paying attention to what I need to be doing there. I feel so silly. This this level is pretty simple. Like it's not really difficult. I just need to get down these these events here with these doors. Okay. Get out of the way. There we go. Mm. Mm. Now let's go. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. Mm. I'm not going to read the hint. I know I can, but I'm not going to risk it. All right, that is Bionic Run. Really cool concept. I like the way it worked in the space. Mysterious Geoglyph. Oh, yeah, this level. Um, yeah, so this level was one of the ones in that block Sokoban competition that Jeffrey ran some time ago. Um, where I entered Salsa Verde, which was kind of up against this level in some ways. So, it's interesting to see this now. Um, okay, this little puzzle here is definitely the one that's probably the most engaging out of all of them. Just because you have to facilitate this little transfer here. And then you have to push this thing up there. Because you couldn't get that any other way, I don't think. But I think once you re realize what you have to do, this isn't really all that bad. It's just getting to that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rest of this is fairly self-explanatory. And I just... Wait, no, I'm fine. I, for some reason, I thought I had to get blocks actually on there. I, I don't know why I thought that. Okay. Yeah, this is fairly simple. Just do that. So this uses the walls of beach balls, of all things, which is a really interesting <laughs> template to use for a Sokoban. I can see why it would be cool, though. Okay, that one's pretty simple. Um, yeah, this is overall really... Oh, maybe it's not so simple. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I spoke too soon. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's work on this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now we do this. So you kind of have to work from right to left. Okay, so that enables us to get that. Get out over here. Okay, so I have another one of these. Walls from Beach Balls. Okay. This is going to be... I don't know. I'm a little worried about this, honestly. So that clone's there. Gotcha. So I'm going to have to do some partial posting. So, like, this here, that's fairly simple. But, like, some of these other ones, I'm genuinely kind of concerned about. Like, how do I get down through that? Is one of my questions. Um, yeah, that area there. I mean, the one thing I can see is that maybe you can just partial post these last. And then head down that way. 
Like, getting that's pretty simple. But, like, getting up there, that's going to be the, the tricky one, I think. I'm trying to figure out how to facilitate that. That's, that's going to be the interesting one. I feel like there's probably something really obvious here, and I'm just not seeing it. Um, yeah, so in order to even get over there... Oh, wait, I don't actually have to create partial posts fully. I can just put blocks where I need them, right? So let's try this. Like, we can do that, right? And then we can go over here. And then do this. Except this. It's probably a little more productive. There you go. Okay, so now... Okay, I need to be really careful with how I do this. Yeah, okay. Let's plan this out a little bit here. Um, okay, so I need to get something down there. Oh wait, I, I've already got it the block already positioned. Never mind, I can just do this. Oh, wait, except I don't, because I need to push it down once more. Oh, of course it was never going to be that easy. Wait, except it is, because I can always just go up through here and then down. Yeah, okay. So we're all good there. Okay, that was much easier than I thought it would be. That's a fun level. I, I still like my level better, to be honest. No offense, Josh. <laughs> But I do like this, like, collection of ideas. I think it represents a lot of unique Sokoban concepts that are specific to CC, like, especially involving force floors and partial posts and whatnot. So I appreciate that they were all explored in one place, and so I think that's one of the reasons why I do like this one. So well done on this one, and a good use of the space, too. Okay, Seaside Resorts. All right, I'm going to need to actually forgo the flippers here in order to even get out of the room. Okay, so I, I cannot clone more than eight of these. So I, I, I have energy for one trip is what I'm getting out of this. Or one trip here and one trip back. So this is the walls of blazes, I believe. Okay, so I cannot go there. This I'll have to come back to later. Okay, so I take it we need to lead you onward to this. And I just realized I made a royal screw up there. Um, but that's fine, I can just do this. Yay! I hope I didn't need that for anything else. Oh, I did. Alright. That's clever, though. I, I do like the double glider usage there. It actually forces you to think a little outside the box. Why did I think I could make that? For some reason, I thought I could make that. I'm discovering throughout these Let's Plays, I've been having issues with my brain not realizing what you can and can't do. Like, that seems to be a recurring theme here. And that's no exception, where for some reason, I tricked myself into thinking something was possible when it clearly was not. Okay, so this is somewhat tricky in that you have to figure out a path. Okay. Let's do this. So the fact that you have to push this open kind of makes this a little trickier, and I like that. So I think if I just... Yeah, I leave that there until it hits the button. There we go. Then it goes through. That's a cool puzzle. I really like the way that works. Oh, now this is going to be interesting. So I need to get the teeth here where I'm standing. Okay. What room was this in Blazes? I'm trying to remember what this was. I feel like this was... Was this used for something? This wasn't... This was the I the like the ending area, wasn't it? I thought that was further up. Oh no no no! This is where you got like one of the keys, I think. 
Okay, I need to get you, like, away. There we go. I need to get this block all the way over here. Okay, there. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. What? What was that? I I thought I had that. Can someone explain that to me? Oh, because it could still come over this way. Right. I needed to go sooner. There we go. Okay. Man, good thing we were able to respond quickly to that, because we would have been dead otherwise. Okay. So now we go back through here. So now the teeth is causing slide delay, apparently. So I'm assuming that this is going to clone the gliders, and I cannot get a, a key there. So what are these gliders even going to do? Oh... It's going to blow up the bomb. Okay. Mm. Gotcha. Oh, this is... Okay, never mind. Th those are for fireballs. Good thing we got that. So I need to get these keys, is what I'm getting here. And then we can go up through that passage, gotcha. Yeah, the way this is built is a little awkward, but it works. I do like some of the things that you're doing here, so... But yeah, the way this space is used is really interesting to me. I'm wondering if there's going to be a hint under this. I kind of want to know what I'm if I'm supposed to do anything. Oh no, the hint's there. So am I supposed to do anything with the blocks, or is this a... I like how this empty space from Blazes is now this giant water area. So there must be traps, or maybe these are clone machine blocks. So I'm assuming you're not going to be able to bridge with any of these things, because... There's really nothing you can mm. make out of this. Mm. 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 Okay, so I don't know if you're supposed to, like, carry this with you somewhere. Okay, no, you're not. Okay, so I'll come back there, I'm, I hope. Okay, this scares me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Actually, wait a minute. No, this is fine. Am I supposed to do anything else with these, or...? Oh, that's tricky. Okay, I'll, I'll go through that later, but for now, let's just take care of this little maze. I like this idea. This is interesting. This blob cloning room. Alright, then we'll go through here. So this is a reward for conserving that block. That's cool. I like that. Alright, Strawberry Chip Sherbert. Alright, so let's see what awaits us here. Um, I'm just going to go through the paths that give us the most stuff at this point. Or that can serve the most keys as much as I can. So this uses the walls of triple alarm, if I'm remembering correctly. Which I'm kind of sad about. And it's not that... I'm disappointed with this level being a key level. It's more, I kind of wish more was done with this. Because I, I think this layout could have been used for something a little more robust in some ways. But 
in some ways, I, I do kind of like how simple the idea is. Just blasting through and getting keys. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to run out at any given point, so I'm just trying to be very careful. I'm sure I'm not really all that bad off, though. I feel like the chips typically involve using up a little more in terms of keys, and at least that's the way it seems like. Maybe that's just me, though. Like, here, you're not actually getting anything for that in terms of keys. Okay, so now we're down here. Yeah, Triple Alarm is a level I've been meaning to go back and revisit for optimization, but I'm genuinely terrified of it. So, I'm not looking forward to <laughs> looking for the bold route on that. But, especially now that we have Suck, or Super CC. So the hint's in here. I kind of want to build the path to the exit first if we're going for that, though. Oh, wait a minute. You're getting skates. Where's the exit? Have we seen the exit? Uh, oh, it's here, okay. Walls from Triple Alarm. That was okay. I I feel like Palace of Lost Color was a little bit more engaging as a level, but I liked the way this felt. I just wish that the layout was something a little bit more chaotic, because I think that would have suited the level, and I think Lead Us On to Temptation for Palace of Lost Color worked well for that. Um, this one, I think, could have had something different done with it. So, that's just my take, though. Alright, we'll close things off today with Tainted Tank Factory. Uh, let's see what to do here. I cannot do anything with this, I don't think. Yeah, so let's just go here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Thankfully, you can actually see that, which is nice. Oh, I forgot to send it back. That might have helped. This might be a little bit of a pain to play in links. Okay. I'm not going to fall for that. Alright, so now I need to push you somewhere. But where? Oh, I bet I just need to block this, don't I? Wait, do I? Uh, I feel like I just made a giant mistake here. Because I can't get back through there. What am I not seeing here? I, I don't see what this accomplishes. I can't get the block there. Oh, you, I wasn't screwed. Right, I hit the button and then do that. I am an idiot. I am, yeah. Okay, well, let's pretend that did not happen. So the point is, is that you're supposed to hit this button on this side so you can get through that. And for some reason, I did not even th think about that. I feel like I've used this concept a bunch as well as Josh. This push a block through a tiny narrow corridor of tanks thing. Okay. This concept here reminds me a lot of that... Oh, what is it called? It's from Josh L7, and I forget the name of the level. But it was a level in Josh L7, I remember that much. Okay, so I've just... Oh, no, I can walk through fire. Duh. Okay, so... So now I can get all this. If I can step, sidestep properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, go through that. So I need a yellow key to progress through there, which I believe I can get through this area here. I like how you revisit this section. This is genuinely pretty cool. Can I make it back there without the fire boots? Oh, I just need to go through that room again. Right. I like that, that you have to revisit that little trap thing again. That's kind of neat. Okay, so now I go through the little thing here. Man, the taste of freedom was so sweet until I had it taken away from me there. This looks like a recipe for dodging something. Okay, I have no idea what I'm about to unleash here by cl cloning all kinds of stuff, so I'm a little worried. What is this? I'm very distrustful of whatever this is. Also, I don't know if I want to go in there yet because I don't see a way to get the green key. But I don't think I can come back, so I have to, right? Hang on a sec. Is it just cloning? Okay, it is. Oh no! Oh, that was not smart. I did something wrong there. All right, man, that was that was a good run though. I feel like we did pretty pretty well with that. So what did we do wrong? That's what I'm curious about. I really like this opening puzzle. This is weirdly clever in a way that's very understated, and yet that I think that's kind of what makes it deceptive is that the mm -hmm. principles at play are not particularly hard to grok but like putting all the pieces together is somehow really satisfying I don't know what it is about that kind of level that just appeals to me but that's kind of my thing is I like things that are really simple but then you feel good for putting all the pieces together it's a a very particular kind of puzzle. And I'm not afraid to admit that. Okay, so let's do this again. Okay. There we go. All right. Hop off there. So let's see what we did. We could have done differently here. Oh, I could have stepped on this. I see. Because it doesn't really matter in the latter case. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. That's cool. I, I like that little puzzle. That's that's a neat little idea. So there is no dodging there. That's interesting. Okay, so this... Oh. Oh. I see what you're putting down here. Okay. So hang on, how do you, I feel like I'm kind of screwed again, but let me try this. It's this left one. It's this one that's, okay, I, I think I see what you have to do. 
yeah, I, I had to get it down, up in the, the other way. Then I can do this. Cool. Okay. That was really satisfying to work out. I liked that one. Uh, so now I just need to get one of these out. I guess this one. Okay. So now I go here. Oh, boy. So this was all about buttons layout. I don't know if I mentioned that already. So is it just extracting all these? Is that what's going on? I'm just going to assume that's a... Although... Oh, you cloned that at the end. I see. I gotcha. Okay, so... Hmm. This worries me slightly. What does this say first? Originally titled Hot Tanks, but changed because these walls from All About Buttons were unpleasant to use. Well, that's fair. I totally understand. Mike Lask would be another one with very specific walls. So I think I have to use that recessed wall for this block. Pretty sure at this point. Because this here... Oh, wait a minute. I think there's another layer to this. I have to use this here, right, to get this out. Oh, that's clever. I like that. That's a cool puzzle. I, I genuinely like that a lot. So for here... Wait a minute. How am I going to get this out? successfully because I'm gonna have to get in there and turn it around and do all that good stuff from inside right and in order to do that I'm gonna have to release this oh I don't know how to feel about that that's slightly concerning do I have to cheat at this one I feel like there's a non-cheaty way to do that there has to be but I'm going to do this for now. Oh, wait, maybe that's what that's for. The, um, the recessed wall. Because from here, I can just turn this around, no problem. Oh, except then that's stuck. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. That's really interesting. All right. Tainted Tank Factory is done. That's definitely a very specific wall template. So kudos to you on using that really well, Josh. I don't know what I would have done with it, but you did a really good job with it. So kudos on that. All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap it up there for today. This has been a fun episode, but I've got a jet. So hope you all enjoyed yourselves. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell to get notified of part nine. And we will see you next time for that. But until then, take care, and thank you once again for watching. See you next time.